This section we will introduce the frequently asked questions of duct cable installation. The main content are about tool and material preparation, drum test and optical cable unloading, duct rotting, optical cable deployment and optical cable fixing and coiling. First, the construction team leader will give safety instructions to all team members at the kickoff meeting. Tools to be used in the construction. Now, the first step is the inspection of the optical cable drum. Check the appearance. Is there any sign of damage and whether the order number is consistent? Check the appearance. If there are no concerns, unpack the optical fiber. Note that the removed wood has nails on it. Place them away from the optical fiber tray to prevent personal injury and damage to optical cables. Remove the plastic package from the optical cable tray. Find the factory test report. The test result must be compared with the factory report. Find the optical cable and remove the screws that secure the end. Collect the removed nails. After the test, fix the optical cable connector with the nails. Take out the external cable end and check the sheath length of the cable. The length of the optical cable in this drum is 3008 meters and is in conformity with the order and the report. Check whether the model of the optical cable is consistent with that in the order and the report on the drum. Using a slitting knife and a round cutting knife to cut the outer sheath of the optical cable, the length of the sheath should be between 60 and 100 centimeters. The outer sheath of the optical cable can also be peeled with the stripping rope inside the optical cable. Remove the packing line, the filling rope and the strength member, only keeping the loose tube. Cut the binding cables between the filing ropes. Do not cut from both sides of the loose tube to avoid damaging the loose tube. Shear strength member. Collect and clean the scraps after stripping. Use lint-free paper to remove the ointment from the loose tube. Cut the loose tube with the incision at the top of the miller pliers and gently pull the loose tube open. Wipe the ointment off the optical fiber. Do not pinch the fiber too tightly when you wipe it. Wipe each optical fiber separately to make it cleaner. Fix the stripper cable to the operation console temporarily. Clean the end surface of the test fiber and dip the test fiber into the lint-free paper with alcohol. Gently wipe the end two times. Connect the connector of the test fiber to the outer port of the OTDR. Note that the adapter teeth should enter the slot of the OTDR port and then you tighten them. Clean the end face of the transition fiber connector with a lint-free paper dipped with alcohol. Connect the short pigtail to the long pigtail using an adapter. After the short pigtail is connected, start the OTDR. Use the touch pen to double click the OTDR icon. Set the test parameters with the wavelength, distance, range 
and the pulse width, average duration and refractive index, 1550 nm, length of the optical cable to be tested, 3 kilometers, transition fiber, 2 kilometers, set the test distance range of a single drum to 10 kilometers, Pulse width setting 5 NS or 10 NS. Average duration setting 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Prepare the end face of the transition fiber and use the Miller pliers to scrape off the coating of the transition fiber. Use the lint-free paper and alcohol to remove the residual coating. Insert the clean bare fiber into the optical fiber cutter to make the end face. Put a drop of matching oil in the V-shaped slot. Put the cut optical fiber in the V-shaped slot. Close the pressure plate. Fix the optical fiber and close the micro slot pressure plate. Enable the real time mode of the OTDR. Place the optical fiber to be tested into the right side of the V shaped slot. Do not overlap the optical fiber on the left. Gently move to the left and observe the OTDR display. Move until the connection is successful and press the upper pressure plate. Disable the real-time mode and open the average mode. The OTDR enters the automatic sampling average state. Enable the average mode OTDR to enter the automatic sampling average state. Analysis curve after completion. Click measure to move the AB cursor. A is moved to the beginning of the straight line segment of the measured fiber display curve. B is moved to the end of the straight line segment of the measured fiber display curve. Click the section below to display the attenuation value of a single kilometer. Save the test result after the test. Enter the drum number, optical fiber serial number, and other information and record the information in the test report. Use the same method to test remaining optical fibers in a single drum. The test rate must be 100%. The test results meet the requirements and are marked on the optical fiber tray. Mark the outer end of the cable tray as the B end of the cable and the inner end as the A end of the cable. Cut off the tested cable core from the stripping area and wrap the 2 to 3 layer of cable end with adhesive tape. Fix the optical cable end with the original nail. Rewrap the optical cable with plastic film. After a single drum is inspected, the customer representative needs to sign in the inspection report for confirmation. Now let's start unloading optical cables. Use a forklift to load the tested optical cable tray into the truck. Unload the optical cable after sending it to the designated installation site. Unload the optical cable to the designated position by using a forklift. Remove the optical cable from the optical cable tray. Use a color bar cloth to cover the ground in order to prevent optical cable from being damaged by sundries on the ground. Coil the optical cable out of the cable drum and coil the optical cable on the waterproof cloth in a figure of eight. Place the optical cables in a figure of eight as large as possible to prevent the fibers from being damaged. The cable laying speed should be the same as the speed of the drum. A 
avoid winding or pulling the optical cable too fast or too slow. Otherwise the optical cable may be twisted or pulled. Start the duct test. First, open the manhole cover. According to the construction drawings, put the pipe punch through the pipe hole and start the test. Use the walkie-talkie to communicate with the personnel at the manhole to check whether the test is successful. If the test fails, retrieve the duct penetrator. Team leader should immediately communicate with the customer that the yellow duct in the design is disconnected. The customer instructs to test the next available duct. Prepare to test the blue duct. The blue duct is connected successfully. Personnel should communicate with each other to confirm that the test is successful. Next, let's introduce how to lay out the optical cable and how to retrieve the fixed drum. First, use a metal mesh bag to fix the optical cable end and tighten it. Then connect the metal mesh pocket to the end of the duct puncher with the red binding wire. Then at the wellhead, secure the ground sheaves with a red binding line. Use the walkie-talkie to inform the personnel of the opposite manhole that they can start pulling the tube head for the optical cable traction. Notify the other party of removing the optical cable connector and metal mesh after the optical cable is pulled. Coil the optical cable to avoid it being twisted. Reserve three or four coils for optical cable. Coil the optical cable and bind it in three positions. Fix the bound optical cable to the hooks on the side wall of the manhole. Finally, remember to cover the manhole. That's all for this chapter. Thank you.